Okay, so the first step and one of the most important steps of beaded wefts is to make sure you have a clean section. I like to use horseshoe shaped partings to follow the shape of the head, but making sure that it's a really clean section is going to ensure that you don't have any breakage or any slipping problems. Now we are loading up our tools. So I am using metal silicone beads in the shade chocolate from my line. And then we're also going to be loading our C-shaped needle with a cotton thread. Um, if you need anything for beaded wefts, whether it's an extension kit, beads, um, thread, anything like that, you have it all on our website. So I will link that in the description box below in case you need any of that. In my extension trainings, we have three different types of beaded wefts and tapins that we go over. We have a machine method, we have a hand tied method, and a cozy method when it comes to beaded wefts. The machine method is ideal for medium to thick hair, the hand tied is ideal for finer hair, and the cozy weft is universal. That method can be used on all hair types. So right here we are doing the machine weft method and we are going to be sewing on machine wefts. So for her hair, we are using a bag and a half of machine wefts. We have two colors. One is the Kali, and one of them is actually a new color that may or may not be launching soon, so keep an eye out. These are the perfect colors together to match her hair, and it's a really good color for fall. So what I'm doing is I am measuring it to the beaded row and then cutting it. The best part about machine wefts is you can cut them. You don't have to worry about them unraveling like hand-tied wefts do, and they do add a little bit of volume. Some people don't like how bulky they are, but Caitlin has really good hair so she can handle that extra volume. Now that the hair is placed on, we are starting our stitching. Those little pin curl clips that I have on there are super important to use when doing extensions. They keep all of your wefts in place, especially if you have two or more stacked on one row. You wanna make sure you have a good grip on all of them so they don't fall down and you miss them while stitching. So we actually have three machine wefts on this row and that's why I have them clipped in pretty nicely. Um, for the machine weft method, we do a three stitch method. I call it the house method and it's something that you do learn in our trainings if you attend. One of the hardest things when first starting wefts is if you run out of string halfway through stitching. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I do. As you can see here, I just tied it off, cut the strings shorter, and then I'm going to tuck those behind the weft so they don't come unraveled. And then I'm just going to reload my string and then almost start it over. I start over exactly where I left off, tie it a few times, do a few extra stitches for good measure, and then continue on. Waiting for a different sign 
Blending hair extensions correctly is one of the most important steps and it's kind of funny because a lot of clients will be really hesitant on letting you blend them or taking much length off because they did pay a lot of money for this hair and it is kind of scary to cut it. But ensure your client that cutting it's going to help it look more natural and blend in with your hair better, giving you an overall better appearance and also helping the hair last longer. It's just like human hair because it is human hair. It needs regular trims to thrive and stay healthy. So make sure your client understands that blending is key and getting regular trims at your move ups help the longevity of your hair as well. Let's go get Jay-Z Styles' live reaction to her beautiful work on my head. She's not in here, that was awkward. She's upstairs in her lair. This is supposed to be your live reaction. You're oh. not giving a good reaction. <laughs> It looks incredible. <laughs> so apparently she hates it. That was it. a fail. I think it looks terrible. Thank you so much. <laughs>